Hey YouTube, Six here with Tagback TV, and today I finally got in my Gigabyte G1 Gaming GTX 1080. Now, this card is supposed to be a phenomenal card with the best cooling out of any of the partner cards that I've seen so far. And so, without further ado, we're going to get into the unboxing, set the overview of the card, overclock it, and get into some benchmarks. And so, as you guys can see, it's got the same design as the Wind Force cards. It does use a new series of Wind Force fans on here, which are supposed to be quite a bit better. Now, the G1 Gaming does replace the Wind Force line. This is the first release for the 1080 that Gigabyte is releasing. They are going to be releasing, I think, a... Uh, I forget exactly what the name is called. I believe it's an Extreme Gaming version, where it's going to have another... Uh, 8 or 6 pin power connector but from what we've seen so far from other partner cards is the extra power does not typically result in extra performance when overclocking now this may be due to drivers but so far what we've seen is that the cars are pretty much already shipping at their maximum I'm really really looking forward to see just how far we can get this card to overclock when I do get it in there I'm really hoping I may have won the silicon lottery and be able to get it over, you know, 2000 gigahertz, but most people seem to be getting this card right around 1950 really stably, but we'll see just how far we can get this bad boy to go. But it does come with a very very nice backplate, very solid build quality. I'm very happy about that. It does although have a plastic shroud which, I mean, while not flimsy, I wish it was metal, but then again, I really don't need to pay for more metal, so it's not like this is going to be a weak card at all. It is a very large card, very solid build quality. It does, Gigabyte did fix the <laughs> display port. Uh, it's just, it was just very strange on the Founders Editions. Uh, it does now have three display ports and then one HDMI port. On the Founders Editions, it was two display ports, one HDMI, and then another display port on the other side. Not really sure why that was. And of course, you've got your DVI right there. Now, you do get full RGB spectrum lighting with the Gigabyte logo and FanStop logo. I think you get up to like 16.3 million color varieties, which is just an absurd number but great for those people that want the best in customization in their computer. And uh, it does, this card also does once again bring back the fan stop, which is amazing for people who do recordings and need the room as silent as possible while they record. You can just click the fan stop button on the card and then it'll go silent for a while while you record. Doesn't get much better than that. We are going to test out coil wine and everything in this video while recording just to see how loud this card does get but I have heard that it is a fairly silent and very effective cooling really uh, partner release card probably one of the best coolers that have been out so far that may change down the road but for right now this is going to be one of the best cards for people who do lots of video recording because you can make the room completely silent when you don't need the extra cooling performance and on its own the cooler is very very effective far better than the Founders Edition. So on that note, let's go ahead and see just how well this card does. That's what everybody's waiting for anyways. Now I did do all of these benchmarks with the i5-6600K, overclocked at 4.5 gigahertz. Now I know a lot of the reviewers, they'll use the i7s, the 6700Ks, the new 6850s or higher. And I think in most real world cases, the average person is going to have the i5 or the i7. And in my opinion, the i5 performs just as well for gaming when overclocked as the i7 does. So I did build this computer as a budget computer and I was able to get a very, very good performance with the i5 and the GTX 1080 without any CPU bottlenecking. I was able to overclock the 1080 to 2050 megahertz it did drop a few times to 2038 megahertz but on average it stayed at the 2050 range and i could have even pushed it farther if i tried 
but I was really happy with the results I got and I didn't want to push it any farther. I was able to get 127 FPS with a, three, with a score of 3199 and a minimum of 36.5 FPS. Not too bad. So on the previous benchmark I did realize that the GTX 1080 was only clocking in at 4500 MHz on the memory clock. So for this benchmark I did get the memory clock up to 5500 MHz and I did successfully get the GPU to sustain a 2100 MHz overclock on the core clock without it dropping at all throughout the benchmark. Now I did this by boosting the power uh, to the GPU just a little bit, I think by like 10 points, and then up the percentage to 108%, and it was able to sustain this overclock without any issues. It also did not go over 76 degrees Celsius, with, and the fans weren't even at 100% either. During this entire benchmark, the fans were barely audible. I mean, I do have liquid cooling on my CPU, and those fans are far louder than the GPU fans, and with the GPU fans only running at about 50% to keep the, <laughs> the entire thing at 76 degrees Celsius is not bad at all. I think everyone will be happy with those results. I wanted to wrap up this review with some footage of Ark Survival Evolved, one of the more graphically intensive games that I have. Since the game is still not optimized very well, I was only able to get 40 to 48 FPS with all settings set to maximum. But man, is this game beautiful. In conclusion, Gigabyte's G1 Gaming GTX 1080 is a phenomenal GPU that stays cool and quiet while providing a lot of headroom for overclocking. This may be due to Gigabyte's gauntlet sorting where only the best chips are released, with my current overclocks between 2050 and 2100 MHz. I would have to say the sorting is working. This core clock is much higher than the average of other partner cards, and if you are looking to buy a GTX 1080, I highly recommend this card, and its performance will only get better as new drivers are released.